hello everyone welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel i am yondela mlonze welcome please do not forget to subscribe on my channel and to the returning viewers welcome back thank you guys so much for coming back um to watch more of my videos so this is um a video another episode of the career so you've been wondering what you'll do after your end diploma you need to stay tuned and listen to this video up till the end because i've got some useful information for you that will be beneficial definitely beneficial um for anyone that is currently doing n4 to n6 in any um respective field my students always ask me um frequently each and every semester i get this question ma'am how can we study further because we would like to study further and um that's obviously the reality for tvet students because most of them went to tvet colleges because they couldn't qualify to get into universities so they opted for a tvet college and they would obviously want to study further to to you know to 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 an enhance or advance their um knowledge and skills um which i fully fully support and with them opting for timid colleges it shouldn't also make them feel that they cannot you know advance their skills or study further so, so after doing some research because you know i prefer giving people valid information i don't like to speak especially with information regarding careers because that's there's more um you know there are spaces or platforms that um have the information that is needed by students but often students can't really access it so i thought you know what let me just do this research for them and just give them you know um a complete picture of where they could go from once they've completed their diploma at a tibet college so this video is mainly for people that are currently doing their n4 to n6 um, certificate which will then proceed to doing their 18 months practical which will then lead to their national and um, diploma in their respective fields now um, the, the the first thing that i'm going to speak about is the two diplomas so you'll find that there's a diploma that you'll get at universities such as unisa or, or, to, or at university of technologies so um, you get that diploma, right? And then there's a diploma from a Tivet College. So when I look at SACWA, right? So I have a disclaimer, most of the information that I'm going to speak about here, I got from SACWA and the Careers Portal, right? Those are my, one of my sources, as well as the different university websites. So SACWA being the South African Qualifications Authority. So all the qualification and um, qualifications are registered by them. So you get a diploma from a University of Technology and you get a diploma from a Tibet College. So both diplomas amount to um, 360 credits and they are both at NQF level 6, right? According to the NQF levels, they are both NQF level 6. But <clears throat> the diploma from a university and a diploma from a Tibet College are not equivalent meaning they're not equal because they are the 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 structure of the diplomas is different um, for example the tivet um, diploma is more practical whereas the university diploma is more academic when you now want to apply at a university with your n diploma right from a tivet college <clears throat> you would have to look at the admission requirements of that specific institution because institutions have different admission requirements because they obviously consider their curriculum and the outcomes that they're expecting from your qualification which is from your diploma at exit level so that is very important right but like i said 
it differs from from institution to institution because you'll find that um let's say a student might, might say that i was never accepted at verts but then i was accepted at, at at cput i was never accepted at uwc but then i was accepted at forte university so hence i'm saying it's important to ensure that you check the admission requirements of the institution that you wish to study at so that you know exactly what they're expecting from you so some of the of the of the programs that students that have studied at two colleges can um, enroll for at universities i'll start with the first which is one. the advanced certificate right so this advanced certificate it is generally completed after the completion of a diploma so after you've completed your diploma you would complete an advanced certificate right so as i was re researching throughout the different universities i found that for students that have um, an equivalent or any other diploma that is not from a university, they often would require that a student completes an advanced certificate before they complete or they study further at the university, right? So it is as well um, a qualification that you would be able to advance your skills and knowledge as it says it's an advanced certificate, right? So that is the one um, qualification. So anyone that has a diploma can complete an advanced certificate after they've done their diploma right it is usually um a year to complete the advanced certificate so that is the first um qualification that students can consider after completing their diploma now it will be an advanced diploma into whatever um, qualification of field that you are in so if you're in finance maybe it will be an advanced diploma in accounting if you're in business management maybe it will be an advanced um certificate sorry not diploma an advanced certificate in business studies or business management so it will depend from um the um, career field that you are focused in so that is the first um program that you can consider and then moving on the second program that um students that have a diploma from a Tibet college can consider is an advanced diploma right so like i've said with the advanced certificate that i've when I, with my research i've discovered that most or some of the universities require students that have other diplomas to complete an advanced certificate so if let's say a university doesn't want to accept you into an advanced diploma because you have a diploma from a TVET, then you'd have to complete an advanced certificate. Then once you're done with that advanced certificate, you can enroll for an advanced diploma, right? That is the first option. The other option is that you can go from your diploma straight to the advanced diploma. Now, um, an advanced diploma also equips with graduates um, with additional skills and knowledge in the specific advanced field. diploma it is then an ntf level seven according to the the sakwa ntf levels it is ntf level seven which is equivalent to a bachelor's degree right that is equivalent to a bachelor's degree so what does this mean it means that once you've done an advanced diploma it means that you can study further into your post graduate into a postgraduate um so this is option number it two. would take you a year or two depending on the inst institution um on the duration of the qualification but it is usually also a year or two years i saw at one of the universities it is a year if you are studying full-time but it is two years if you're studying part-time so like i said please do your own research onto your specific um, field so that you know exactly what is the structure of the, of, the, of the qualification and what are the requirements. I'll keep on stressing that. Um, the other thing that, I, that I, I discovered is that, which I always tell my students is that, the other thing you should do yourself for getting good results, guys, at least you've got something to back yourself up. Because you, it is difficult even for university graduates to be accepted to further their studies if they didn't get good results. So it is not just um, for TVET students. 
if you want to study further as a university graduate and you don't have an average of 60 percent then you struggle getting into the programs so please do yourself a favor and get good results at least get an average of above 60 percent in your results so you cannot be a 40 percent student because the pass rate or the pass mark active at colleges is 40 while at the university is 50 percent so you cannot now be a 40 percent student if you are still considering to study further at a university and then the third option for you is that you've got your diploma from a, a, a Tivit college you are maybe struggling to get in maybe you don't have an average of 60 percent maybe you, did, you don't want to consider the advanced certificate and maybe after your diploma um, at a Tivit college you continued working let's say you worked for a year or two so you've got industry exposure you've got industry experience right with your qualification from the Tivit college the other option is to consider the recognition of prior learning so when you do your research on the specific field let's say you would like to do an advanced diploma at um, uwc university of the western cape or maybe at nelson mandela university or at cape peninsula university of technology or adverts right you want to enroll for an advanced diploma there now you um you you can see that you don't meet the requirements you don't meet the minimum admission requirements which is very important so you need to then they, are, they always mention as part of the admission requirements that there's an option to apply for an rpl that is recognition of prior learning meaning that the institution will then recognize your previous learning and experience so now as a tivet graduate with a diploma and you'd like to do an advanced diploma in accounting and you are you've got a diploma in finance from a Tivet college your diploma already is previous learning right because you've got something to show that i've been exposed theoretically and practically um, in the field of finance and i've been working for a specific company commercial company or maybe you've been working at a commercial bank for two three years so i've got experience working experience as well so what they will do is they will take your previous learning um, and experience which is they'll take your qualification they'll look into your cv they'll probably gather all the evidence that they need right then they'll assess that evidence which is they'll assess your diploma they'll assess your experience against the outcomes of the advanced diploma in accounting for example so if your experience and your qualification meet those outcomes then they will admit you into that advanced diploma based on that that is the third option that is the recognition of prior learning which is available at all um or most universities i know at cput at uwc at uct at Wurz, at stellenbosch and so it basically gives you access into a qualification that you may or maybe didn't qualify you should never think that your journey at a tivet college is a waste of time it is a stepping stone to lifelong if learning. you enjoyed or you love this video or you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up, like the video so that it can be recommended to more and more people. Share the video with your family and friends, share it with your fellow classmates at your respective colleges at Limpompo in Eastern Cape, wherever in KZN, wherever you are. And also tell me your thoughts, comment down below and just tell me your thoughts or give me or you know share your experiences as well because we already have tivet graduates on this platform just share your experience as well so that so as to put um you know the others at ease and so as to also guide and assist others because that is what this platform is about it is to help each other um grow and guide each other in our career paths please don't forget to subscribe like share and 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 thank you so much for watching until the end i'll see you guys on my next video.